Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make a signature as well as a folder that has some rules where your emails will go straight to that folder. Now we'd already kind of talked about these in another video, but I am going to show you how to make them from the web browser of Outlook. So I'm going to come to the main page of the Houston ISD website. All right, so when you click on it, this is where you will go. You have to come all the way over here to my HISD and then you're going to click check email. Now when you do this, it's going to take you to this page here that kind of shows you your entire Office 365 account. Now we want to go to Outlook, so we come over to the sidebar over here and we're going to click Outlook. Now I am on my Outlook page and I want to make a signature first. So I'm going to come over here to settings and I'm going to just search for this setting. So email signature. So right now I have it this where it has my regular signature. One thing you need to be careful of is this one signature, it will only work on this browser. If you are going to use the app that is on your computer like this one right here, you're going to have to copy and paste it and put it in that signature as well. So it's either good to just copy and paste all your signatures in all the different browsers like I have, or you can just use one browser. Now I'm going to get rid of this one to show you what all you can do. So as you saw, I had my name, I had my position and I have my email address and, and I have my email address. Please make sure to put your email address in your signature because one of the things that really sucks is if you want to email this person, if you have to go into the from section and like click on it weird so that way it will show, it just makes it a lot easier if it's already in the signature. And as you've seen with mine, you can put a quote, but you can also add a picture like mine has as well. One of the things in the browser that you need to be aware of is you can only pick it from your computer. If you want to just use a stock photo, and make sure to use something that is either copyright free or you're allowed to use it. So I'm going to go into Microsoft Word and all of these are basically the same. So I'm going to come over here to insert and I want to insert a picture. But I'm going to push this drop down button and I'm going to pick stock images. That way I know that these are free to use. Now I can choose different icons like the 3D glasses. I can pick all these stickers. There's a lot of things on here that you can choose. I'm going to use these 3D glasses because they're really cool. And I'm going to push insert. So that way it comes up over here. All right, so I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to come over here to my email and paste it. So this is the signature that everyone would see on my new messages and push this as well so that way it automatically is included on your new messages that way you don't have to like go up and click on things it's just automatically there now you would push save but i don't want to i'm going to discard this because i want my signature all right so now i'm going to make a rule for a folder this is so that way whenever an email comes in from a certain person i can see that this person emailed me and it's going to go straight to a folder and not get lost in my inbox. So I'm going to come up here and push settings and I come all the way down to view all Outlook settings. I want to go to rules, which is right next to mail. It should open up to mail anyway. And I'm going to add a new rule. I like to name the rule the same as what the folder is called, just so that way it's easier on yourself. But there are other conditions that you can have and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to name this rule, I'm going to name this rule hello, just so that way I know where it's at. So you can change, so you can use all these different conditions to send to a folder or other actions. So I'm going to do one from my Gmail account and I'm going to add an action. So again, it can go to all of these different things. You can mark it as junk. If you put it to copy to, it'll go to both your inbox as well as your folder, but I have found that you have to read in, in both of them for it to be marked as read. So I just want to move it to, and I'm gonna make a new folder. Now I do like to name the folder the same as the rule, that way it's really easy to find later. 
So I'm gonna name this folder hello, like I did the rule. So now whenever my Gmail account emails my school account, it's gonna move it to this folder. This is something that you could do for all your classroom teachers. And I have found it to be very helpful. So that way when I get a lot of emails from different people, I can easily find where a certain person has emailed me, um, especially when they are very important emails that I should read. So I hope this has helped you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.